Hey folks, it's day 59 of the vlog and it's Saturday. Uh, not been up to too much today. What I've actually been doing is learning some new skills using Adobe Photoshop. It's something that I've not done for a while. Um, there are times where I'll maybe need to do something with a project, uh, some sort of graphic and not know how to create the effect that I'm looking for. And I used to set aside regular time each week to get better and learn more about the different software packages that I use, um, mostly Adobe software. And today, just off the back of um, a conversation about buying or leasing cars, uh, it went off on a bit of a tangent and I started talking about Reliant Robins and before I knew it, I was into Photoshop and I had the idea of taking an image of a Reliant Robin, which if you don't know, is one of those three wheeled cars and branding it up with Rock Your Brand logos and stuff uh, just for a laugh. But it kind of, I did that, but I needed to do, I wanted to do it in a certain way, which I didn't know how to do. So looked up some tutorials and basically taught myself how to do that effect in Photoshop. So there was something useful came from it. And I also was able to generate a new topic in the Rock Your Brand group on Facebook about branded vehicles and how, well, I think that branded vehicles are a good way, uh, a good cost effective way of keeping awareness of your brand to the public. Uh, you, you, if, you, if you have a car, if you have a vehicle, um, whether it be a car or a, a business, maybe a van or a pickup truck or something like that, you're always driving around, it'll be parked in places. So it, to me, it's a bit of a waste of kind of real estate where you can have your logo and maybe your web address or your telephone number, a bit about what the services are that you offer, which people can see for free. When you look at how much it costs to promote your adverts on Facebook or have an advert in the newspaper or even on TV, vehicle graphics are a really cost effective way of getting your brand, your logo and all that, getting it noticed. Now I'm not gonna say that it's a surefire way to get your business, but what it does is it lodges your company name and your logo into people's heads. So subconsciously, you know, maybe when they're looking for something or they're trying to think of something they're needing to buy, then, you know, there's more of a chance that your brand's gonna to rise to the surface when they're thinking about those things, especially in conjunction with other brand advertising that you do, the Facebook ads, the newspaper ads, all of it works together. So going from this little discussion about, you know, buying and selling cars and do we trust car salesmen on Facebook, just on a Facebook thread, I've ended up learning how to use Photoshop better, created some social media interaction by actually posting up the the graphics that I created with this branded um, Reliant Robin and started a conversation in my Facebook group. So it's funny how little things can lead into something that you just don't expect. So that's my Saturday. I'm now going to wait head down the pub for a few drinks, meet some friends that I've not met for a while and um, have a relaxing evening and then uh, probably get back to work tomorrow preparing for the um, course, the 12 week course that I start on Monday. So I need to do some homework for that. So until I speak to you guys again tomorrow, stay creative and have a good Saturday. Bye for now.